Hello, hockey fans, and welcome to the Continental Airlines Arena in East Rutherford for this regular season game between the Buffalo Sabres and the Devils. Hi, everybody. If you're looking for an exciting matchup, you came to the right place. I'm Bill Clement. And I'm Jim Houston, so let's get started with the world's fastest game. Well, during the regular season, it's really important that the players understand what's on the line. A playoff spot, a home ice advantage. What about the support of the fans? you got to keep the fans happy. Siplikov now has the puck. Played out. Arnett gets deep by Barnes. Drop. Pushed aside by Brodeur. Sundin teases. Boy, scores! Top shelf! Okay, let's take a look at how this happens. Bure jumps on a loose puck and shot it from the left side. Hashik tries but can't get his stick on it. And that one simply whistles by him. Nice work. Well, in the NHL, there are big deals and there are big deals. Just ask Pavel Bure. He was involved in a huge one, traded by Vancouver to Florida in a nine-player deal in January 99. Buffalo takes it. Yager! Stone cold by Hasek. Kachuk works gingerly past Andrichuk. Kachuk lines up. Hasek made it. Kachuk scores! Let's get a look at that goal. Well, Jim, when you give up that many rebounds, you're just asking for trouble. Keith Kachuk is one of the rare players in the NHL. Sundin scores right upstairs. With that goal, New Jersey now leads 3-0. Well, there's no question that's a big goal. If they can get another one, we're on our way to an old-fashioned butt kick. Valerie Bure. Amante with the puck. Kasek denies him to Siplikov. Barnes jumps on the loose puck. Deets. Elias jumps on it. Elias around Jitnik. Thanks, Kasek shuts the door. Gets taken out by Elios. Across to the wing. Picked up by Elios. Heavy shot from the left. Turned aside by Hashik. Second checks Duma for Tuzi. To Duma. Shoot. Scores. With that goal, New Jersey now leads 3-1. Well, Jim, there are two schools of thought here. Put it out of reach or protect the lead. I'm a fan of scoring. Castles winds up, picked off by Brodeur. He gets the puck to Bure, to Sundin. Shoots it, picked out of the air by Hasek. He covers up. Now take a look at the replay of this great save. Nothing will frustrate a good shooter more than a great goalie who is really in the zone. Hasek makes the stick save. The puck is given up by Barnes. Yager takes it. Cranked it. Sikora has it. It's given to Barnes. Taken by New Jersey. To Blake. are important, but the teams that win championships are the teams that can put up numbers when they're playing five-on-five five hockey. Brodeur denied him! And by number four, Nolan has it. Shoots! But the door is closed by Hasek! Elias! Saved by Hasek! Elias shoots at Buffalo! Grabbed it! A Finneganoff gets taken out! After play in the first period, the Devils lead 4-1. And that was one entertaining period of hockey, Jim. And guess what? More to come. Welcome back for the second period of the game. Sundin scores! Let's see what happened on that goal. Well, Jim, whenever you give up an odd man rush, you're just asking for trouble. Sundin seems to have the hot hand tonight, having scored a 
couple of goals. And Jim, right about now he's talking to his stick. Come on, baby. You got a third one in there for me. Come on now. Hoshik denies him to Barnes. The Devils go offside. New Jersey is going to start with Sundin, Burren, and Burren. He scores! He gets the hat trick! New Jersey puts its scoring line up. Buffalo has been very solid defensively so far this year. With that goal, New Jersey New now Jersey leads 6 to one. Boy, are they putting an old-fashioned movement on these guys or what? b hangs on for the whistle. Shatan has put up some very good numbers this year for Buffalo. Buffalo will match up with Barnes, Siplikov, and Bratton. Blake winds up. b gets the stick on it. Yogurt scores! New Jersey goal, scored by number 68, Yaromir Yager. Shoots it! Biron made the save. Peter Sikora, and by number four, Rob Blake. Checked into the glass. Sundin has it now. Kick the side. Hooray, scores! All right, let's look at the way this play shapes up. Murray picks up the puck and puts a well-aimed shot on net from the left side. The goalie tries but can't get his stick on it. And in the blink of an eye, it's in the net. Great play. Sundin. Sakura. Playing penalty coming up for New Jersey. Kachuk will go to the box for roughing. I think we've got another look at that penalty. Well, we'll see on this replay that this penalty is just a result of an overdose of energy and enthusiasm. Lots to tell you about in this high-scoring game. New Jersey has had goals from Burren, Burren, and Yager. Castles. Time runs out on the penalty to Kachuk. Tonight, second scores! Check out this play. He takes the pass, and he gets away a tricky backhander from the right side. Firo tries, but can't get a stick on it, and it ripples the mesh behind him. Nice work. Arnett scoops up the loose puck. Long pass to the blue line. Shitnik misses the net. Cleared out of the zone by Bure. Kicked aside by Firo. He hangs on. New Jersey is simply showing who's in charge here. The ref's ready to drop the puck. The faceoff goes to Castle. Shout. McKee has it now. Blake! Stick saved by Biro. Buffalo is looking pretty good in the ice, Bill. They don't seem tired or jet-lagged at all from this road trip. Wooly, short pass. Sundin takes possession. Fires it. Birok stoned him. Delayed call, and the goalie leaves the net. Barnes goes around Burrett. 
Brodeur made the save. Bure has been nailed for high sticking. Buffalo is being outplayed offensively right now. They're not the ones setting the tone. Brodeur turned the shot aside. Shoots the puck. To Nolan. Cleared out. And that brings to an end the second period of play. Please report to guest service. Welcome back for the third period of play. The draw is won by New Jersey. Lume, short pass. Time runs out on the penalty to Bure. Castles fires it. New Jersey has it now. Bure winds up. Biroff makes the save. New Jersey picks it up to Bure. Winds up. Biroff shuts the door. He plays the puck to Lume. Castles moved it. It's one on one. Biroff made the save. And he hangs onto the puck for the whistle. I'd love to see the replay. Is it cute, guys? Biro faces a pretty good test with this shot, but he came through with flying colors. Bure! Hold over! Sundin sneaked around Jitnik. Biro denies him. Bratton puts a move on Burren. Bratton tees up. Picked up by Aginma. Broder gives it to Arnett. Shoved. Buffalo gets it. Ahead to the wing. Dumont scoops it up. A delayed penalty call against Kachuk. Penalty call for Ruffing. Here's another look at that penalty. Well, if the guy with the whistle thinks it's illegal, you got no choice. You're going to sit. Keith Kachuk. Two minutes for Blake Ruffing. picks up the puck from Broder to Sakic. Penalty call for Buffalo. Second scores! Short-handed they score. We've got the replay of the goal ready to go. Well, when you score a short-handed goal, it usually means you're outworking the power play. Big marks for effort on this one. Number nine, Paul Cleese. Shoots! Broder closed the door. Yager from the right. b stoned him. Intercepted in the neutral zone. Gives it to Aginla. Breaks it hard on E. Yager. Scores! Yeah! Buffalo puts its scoring line up. With that goal, New Jersey now leads 13 to 1. Well, unless they give up a late touchdown, this baby is over. Jerome Aginla. By number four. Sundin. Grab. Biron gets the puck to Zitnik to a Finneganov. Scores! With that goal, Buffalo now trails 13 to 2. Well, let's be honest here, folks. Regardless of that goal, they have been shredded here tonight. New Jersey touches up for icing. Buffalo has been struggling on the power play this season. The faceoff goes to Sundin. Biron made the save. Arnett. Shot by Bure. Biron made the big glove save. Siplikov tees it up. Bure now with it. Sundin winds up. Biroff made the save. Gives it to Woolley. Bratton picked it up. Siplikov shoots it. He misses. Solani winds up. Pushed away by Biroff. Biroff turned him away. Rasmussen. Staple. Cleared out. The game is over. 
New Jersey has beaten Buffalo. There were a number of things that contributed to the outcome of this game. Buffalo made it too easy for the opposition to get shots on goal. Their goaltender had a bit of an off night, and they didn't do a very good job of keeping the play out of their end. And for their part, in the second period, New Jersey got themselves five goals in a row. They worked hard to keep the play in the attacking zone, and they played a very physical game. That concludes another exciting game of NHL 2001. I'm Jim Houston. And I'm Bill Clement. See you next time, folks. Tonight's first star for New Jersey, number 16, Max Sundin. Thank you.